Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. It's 120 in Honolulu, 620 in New York on Thursday, 8th day of February 2024, and this is the evening report for gold and silver. Although today's decline in gold was modest, down $3.60, it did have a low that fell far below recent lows that we have seen so far this week. Gold traded to $2,034.60 and then recovered to $2,048 per ounce. In terms of gold's percentage decline today, it amounts to 0.19%. And when we compare that to dollar strength today, which is plus 0.12%, we can see that the overwhelming majority of today's drop in gold prices is directly attributed to dollar strength. We have been talking about the fact that we have seen the range compressing. It is range bound, but we've seen a series of lower highs as well as higher lows. We are getting near the apex, which I am interpreting as the fact that even though we have seen lows come down to this area, I think we have further down to go, especially on a closing basis. If it holds that support line, we should see one last clip up, and that's the point we would want to see a break above the current resistance trend line. If that happens, we could have a sizable breakout, and we've talked about that in terms of targets. 2080 would be our first target, 2090, and then above 2100. But before we even consider that, we need to see gold find support on a closing basis down near these lows. We will remain flat with no active trades in gold until that either develops or negates itself. We will take a serious look at silver to see if we get follow through buying tomorrow. Although gold traded lower, silver had a phenomenal gain today. We are looking at the Standard & Poor's 500 index at a new all-time record high. And because of the high industrial use of silver, we can attribute the strong equities markets directly to gains in silver. If you recall from yesterday's show, I was looking at silver through some pretty bearish eyes. My eyes have widened today when I look at the 1.23% gain in the precious white metal. Silver gained 27 and a half cents, taking March silver to $22.63 and a half cents. It also is forming a simple two-day key reversal pattern known as an engulfing bullish. It requires confirmation. We'll look to see if that occurs tomorrow. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.